And Ramon Gomez says that his daughter was using that kitchen knife to cut up some chicken when the intruder walked in, took the knife from her, and then attacked them both. Ramon Gomez's floor is stained red with his blood. When he caught me here, I got kind of dizzy, and I had to sit down in the step. He says Friday morning his daughter was using a kitchen knife cutting chicken for breakfast when a man walked in their open door. My daughter told me, what you doing here? What you looking for? So he don't say nothing. He just grabbed my daughter for the hair. Gomez, who uses a wheelchair, says the man took the knife away from his daughter. He told me, shut up because I killed you. I said, well, don't. Don't make a mistake because you see me in the chair. He says that's when the man stabbed his daughter in the side, then stabbed Gomez in the arm. He tells me his daughter grabbed this can of food and smashed the intruder over the head. She hit him pretty hard. Yeah. Gomez says he then whacked the man on the hand with one of his large tools hard. And then when he tried to do it again, that's when I, I hit him with, with that thing in there and there. Did he drop the knife right there? Their fight was enough to get the intruder to leave. Police are still searching for that man. Well, Caroline, what about his daughter? How is she and what does the intruder look like? So Gomez told me that she was alert and talking on the way to the hospital. She is at the hospital now recovering. He tells me that man looks to be about 35 to 40 years old, about 200 pounds, likely has a sizable lump on his head and probably an injured hand as well.